so welcome to the channel once again in this video by the way it's just part one in this video i would be discussing with you about a bit of the syllabus of faculty of technology now you can say a prequel of this video was already posted on this channel before i will put the link in the description below you can check that out as well and in the current series there will be three videos this is part one so let's jump right into it so in these three videos i would be talking about the dses and ges so let me zoom in all right okay so if you see what's written in this cell dse and ge let me briefly explain you the concept then you will understand what's happening here dse stands for discipline specific elective course and ge stands for generic elective course simply understand it like this a dse is a course which is a part of your core discipline while a GE is a course which is not a part of your core discipline or rather it is a part of some other core discipline which you are studying. In short, we can say that if you are doing a DSC, then that's a specialization in your core course or in your core degree. Or if you are doing a GE, then you are choosing an interdisciplinary approach by studying a subject that is from another stream okay so first to talk about things if you are a student of ECE or EE at the faculty of technology and you want to have a minor in computer science and engineering then which courses will you study as GEs? You have fundamentals of DBMS in semester 3. You have fundamentals of operating system in semester 4. In 5, you have foundations of computer networks. In 6, you have fundamentals of software engineering. And in semester 7, out of uh, how many are there? 6. You have to choose 1. Either introduction to IoT or computer vision, data science using Python, introduction and applications of AI and machine learning, fundamentals of cybersecurity and blockchain, or introduction to augmented and virtual reality. So, in a way, you can see that you will be given an introduction to all the streams which are being offered here, sub streams of computer science and engineering if you take a minor in computer science and engineering but if you choose one of these courses you will specially dive deep into one of them so you have to decide what you are looking for either you keep your domain broad or you keep just one domain and specialize in it go deep inside that also to mention the syllabi for semester three and four in terms of dsc and ge they are confirmed while the syllabi for 5, 6, and 7, they are tentative, they can change in the future. All right. Now, coming to this section, you can also read the heading. If you are a student of computer science and engineering, you can specialize in one of these five streams. Or if you are a student of ECE or EE, you can again take a minor in one of these five streams along with computer science and engineering. Instead of along with, I should say apart from. So if you are going for artificial intelligence and machine learning, let's keep it in the center. The papers which you will have are probability and statistics for computer science, fundamentals of data analytics in semester four. In semester five, you have two choices here, data mining and warehousing and neural networks. In semester six, you either study AI for image processing or you go for natural language processing techniques and applications and in semester 7 out of these you choose one 
you have generative AI, you have AI ethics and security, AI in healthcare, AI in cybersecurity, AI in financial technology, graphical models for machine learning, right? If you're choosing to specialize or take a minor, whatever is valid for you in data science, then the papers would be again, probability and statistics for computer science in semester three, fundamentals of data analytics in semester four. In SEM five, you have data mining and warehousing and advanced data analytics. In SEM six, you have to take one among health data analytics and fundamentals of time series analysis. And in SEM 7, you choose one among these, financial data analytics, spatial data analytics, data visualization and communication, environmental data science, data science and e-commerce, sports analytics. All right. By the way, just to mention one thing, if you are looking for this document, you can write down in the comment section. I have not completed this yet, so I'm not putting it right now. It shall be available in the future with a watermark. And if you are a student of FOT, you can just get it from your teachers there. Not an issue at all. And also, this data has been collected from the University of Delhi itself. So, yeah, this is how it is. It's completely reliable. If you choose to get a specialization on minor in software engineering, you get to study in SEM 3, software requirement engineering, in SEM 4, object oriented software engineering, in SEM 5, you choose among predictive modeling and software testing, in SEM 6, you choose among agile software development and software reliability, and in SEM 7, you have an option among the recent trends in software engineering, empirical software engineering, continuous delivery and DevOps, microservices and cloud native development, secure software development and performance engineering, right? If you have a dream of becoming an ethical hacker and you want to go into cybersecurity, you also get blockchain with it. You get to study fundamentals of cybersecurity, cryptography essentials. In SEM5, you get one among blockchain essentials or ethical hacking and advanced cybersecurity. All right. In SEM6, you get blockchain applications or cybersecurity with blockchain. Basically, you have a choice of choosing which one you want to focus more on blockchain or cyber security and then in sem 7 you have digital currencies and blockchain example bitcoin we all know about them regulatory and legal aspects of blockchain crypto analysis and security models quantum cryptography artificial intelligence and cyber security and cyber threat intelligence and finally oops better if you go for ar vr then you have foundations of augmented and virtual reality 3d graphics and rendering in sem5 you choose among human computer interaction and game development in sem6 you choose among advanced game development augmented and virtual reality systems design and in SEM 7, you choose among recent trends in AR and VR, wearable technology, multi-user and social VR, ethics and privacy in AR and VR, AR and VR in education, sensor fusion and tracking. And finally, before ending this video, one last section. If you are selected for computer science and engineering, this is what your semester three syllabus looks like in terms of the core courses dsc stands for discipline specific core these are compulsory courses you have analysis and design of algorithms you have digital system design and you have database management systems so that's it for this video share it subscribe like this video and write down in the comment section
what kind of video you are looking for all right plus you can also check out my series on my channel which you'll get in the playlist section which is about college reviews from the perspective of a fresher or a sophomore student and if you are from some other college who is viewing this video and you also want to appear in an interview on this channel and review about your college then you can connect with me by mail on linkedin and then we can plan it out accordingly so that it can help your juniors and give your perspective to the world right that's it for this video best wishes for the rest of the counseling season and everything else all right goodbye